Hey y'all, I'm Raven and you're watching my channel. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Ray is here with another video. Today we are doing a DIY baby shower gift. One of my childhood friends, she's having a baby girl. I'm so excited for her. And I got this idea from TikTok, so we're gonna make this little baby basket gift for her. I'll put the video to the TikTok below. You know, I'm not taking anybody's creds, but basically everything that I got from Joann's ran me at around $20, $25. So you guys can do this. It was pretty cheap. The only expensive thing was filling the basket. So first on your Joann's list will be the crate. This is the base of our project today. And this is what everything is gonna go in. The original price was $13, but I got it for $6.50 because they had a 50% off coupon. Next, we're gonna need dowels. These dowels will act as the base of the hanging area for where the clothes will go. I got two and I'm gonna cut one in half so that there's three pieces, two on each side, one at the top. You guys will see later how I put that all together. And the last piece is the baby K. I call it a baby K because it looked the cutest out of all the letter forms and shapes that they had. Her daughter's name's Kamaya, baby K. So we're gonna put that right on front and make it look nice and cute and noticeable. So, you know, we know it's for her. And I didn't really like the colors that these all came in, this like wood color. So I decided to spice it up and we're gonna paint it next. So before I get started on the painting, I went ahead and cut up a few paper bags that I had and just placed them on the floor so that I didn't make a mess. And if I did make a mess, that it just got on the bags and not, you know, tile. So the first color we are using is Cameo Pink. I got this for about 87 cents or 50 cents. It was actually at Walmart, y'all. So y'all don't have to go with the expensive paint. You know, anything does just fine unless you want to just be fancy and make a matte or shiny color then do you boo but today we went to walmart that's where i got my paint from i had these brushes from a previous project and i'm going to use the cameo pink on the letter and the dowels so those are what we're going to paint first So as you can see, I finished painting the outside of the K, but then I I was gonna leave it empty at first, but then I was like, you know what, I might as well paint it. So here you see me painting inside the K, cause I'm gonna change that later anyways. But after I finished painting it, I just go back with another coat and just make sure that the lines are all painting one way, cause you will definitely see it. I also made sure to get any drooping paint outside of the middle of that K because that would dry weird too. So, you know, just make sure you're clean with it and keep it cute, keep it classy, okay? So now we are on to the dowel rods, whatever you want to call them. So I just basically held one end in one hand and the other hand I was painting. When it comes to the dowels, you kind of can't paint the entire thing. You have to let one side dry before you go on to the next or you're just going to have paint everywhere. Um, so you'll see me paint one end of it and once I get close to my hand is when I'm going to stop and let it rest. So as you can see, when I was done, I actually tried to see if it would stand up on its own and it would not. So I just put it upside down and let it lean against the wall um, because there was no paint on that end. And then I went ahead and did the other dowel. So now that the dowels are partly finished, we're onto the crate. For the crate, I used the color Princess Pink and I got two bottles and both bottles actually fit to cover the entire 
inside and outside of this crate. And when it came to the dowels and the K, I only needed to use one bottle of paint. So with the crate, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the bottom. I actually, at this point, I brought a fan in and I have a fan running, so you may see the paper bags fling up and down, but that fan is gonna help when with the drying process so that I can get that side done quick and flip it over and go to the next side and etc. In between drying times for the different sides of the crate, I was able to go back and finish the dowels as well as paint around the circle part of the K so that everything was ready when I was ready to start assembling it and putting it together. So now it's the cutting process. So one of the dowels, I just measured the entire thing and I put a little Sharpie point at the middle point of it and I'm going to use my Black & Decker mini handheld saw to cut that baby in half. And then we're gonna sand it once I'm done. For some reason I couldn't cut it under where I was filming so I ended up cutting it off camera. But you guys will see, it ended up being cut. It was good, but you guys will see me sand it so that it is even on each side as you can see it's a little rigid so we're just going to get that nice and smooth okay now that these are sanded it's ready to put them together so i just placed them where i wanted to put them and i used the clear gorilla glue uh, I can put a picture if you guys need it, but I just put a dab on the end where it's going to be at the bottom on each dowel. And then I also put some in the corner where the dowel will lay and that kept it in place. It literally did not move once it dried. Once again, I do have the fan on. So the fan is helping the drying process go a little faster, but that Gorilla Glue is the truth. 
So like I mentioned before, I'm changing the color of that inner K and I decided to go with this gold Sharpie metallic type of color and I'm just going to shade it in. Um, it was a little dry at first, but I just had to pump it a little bit and that got all the juices flowing and then it became a little easier to color it in. So now that the first two half dowels are dry, it's time to put on that top one. So I'm going to again take the clear Gorilla Glue and put a little dot on, not a dot, but I'm just going to put enough to cover that entire area on each of the top of the dowels. And then I'm going to place the bar to sit on top and add a little more glue just to secure it. Okay, now we're on to the, we'll call her the centerpiece, um, the little K. That I use both crazy glue and the Gorilla Glue. So when it comes to the Gorilla Glue, it takes a long, a longer time to dry than crazy glue does. And because this is on the front, um, I didn't want it to fall off or anything. So I actually used both. I used crazy glue in the middle just to keep it where I put it. And then that Gorilla Glue around the ends will just keep it in place so that it doesn't move once it is dry. And once again, I do have the fan on, so that's also helping this process go a little faster. So this is what she looks like, all sturdy. I'm just going to pick her up and show you. I love how there's handles on the side, so once I put everything in it, no matter how heavy it is, I'll always have a way to carry it. But now we're gonna decorate it. I have a little vine piece that I'm just gonna use to weave in and out the top and the back of the crate. I just tied the end of that vine onto the end of the dowel and then I just wrapped it around and I just really freestyled. Some people could use flowers i didn't want too much you know going on because i already painted it pink so i just wanted like a little greenery to go inside so that's why i just use one vine um but if you want you can use flowers you can use really anything you feel your creative mind takes you so feel free to do whatever so now we're on to the contents of what's going inside of this pretty baby crate so on the invitation to the baby shower um Ja'Kyra and her family actually requested pampers they got a lot of pampers y'all so uh they said if you bring a box or bag of pampers you get to put into a raffle and they also wanted books so they asked that we provided books instead of toys I did a little bit of both um so I went ahead and got two books I actually used my even lace remover to remove the tags off the books and me i'm just like a clean like freak when it comes to gifts i remove all tags just because i don't know why i think it's because my mom always told me to remove the tags you know so i went ahead and removed the tags that lace remover actually makes it cleaner when it comes to removing it you know when you try to scratch off tags and it leaves like residue and it's sticky and then like sometimes you'll find books that still have residue on the back of them and I don't like that so I went ahead and used that remover we cleaned them off and then I went ahead and rinsed it off with some soap and water to get them squeaky clean and now they look all clean mm -hmm. so now I'm just positioning all the items to see what's going to go where uh, this is not the end result. I'm just, you know, putting it in to see how much I can actually fit into this crate because I never really checked before I bought all this stuff. So then we're going to get on to the extra items I got. So besides the pampers, the wipes and the books, I also got a little teether toy, some bibs. They're mad pretty. And then these cute, cute, cute fuzzy socks. Imagine a little girl with these socks. She's giving me baby fever, y'all. Um, but I'm going to wait, okay? <laughs> Let me be the one to enjoy, enjoy. Let's keep, keep 
So these are all the clothes that I got. So, so cute. I got some mini stuff. I got a lot of cute stuff for the different seasons. And um, they came on these, you know, the regular white plastic hangers. So I went ahead and I got some suede hangers and I went ahead and put all the clothes on the hanger, separated them, except for the Disney one, because that one came with a little wash bag that I was like, you know, I'm going to just keep that on there. So hangers of suede. This is exactly the same hangers I got in my closet, boo. You know, we high fashion over here. Okay. So once I put everything on the hangers, I just hung them up one by one. I actually took the stuff that I put in the crate out because the clothes couldn't fit. So I had to rearrange everything. That's why I said I was just, you know, checking to see what fit and what didn't. So once I put the clothes on, then we were able to put everything back in nice and neat. So yeah, if you guys are going to get more stuff, just make sure you get a bigger basket. And there's others who did different variations and they did more rows to hang clothes on different rows but it's up to you guys on what you want to do just research and make sure you do it right okay so this basket came out perfect like i'm so happy that i did this i'm such a crafty girl and the baby shower was so fun i loved it it was gorgeous pink like it just everything just gave me baby fever and jakaira looks so pretty these are the parents black love is where it's at i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and see you in the next one